Choosing good friends and being a good friend can be a tricky business. Who you surround yourself with often determines what type of a person you are going to become. We're here at a movie studio because movie stars always have an entourage. Now, an entourage is a close group of people that you keep around yourself who help protect you from bad influences. Basically, an entourage is a group of close, trusted friends. In this series, we're gonna be looking at what type of friends you should have in your entourage and whose entourage you should be a part of. Well, today, I wanna to start our series by talking about the entourage that you keep close to you, the friends that you hang around with. The Bible says that you need to surround yourself with friends who will keep you close to God, friends who will help you make wise decisions. Wise decisions will make your life soar in God's eyes. But unfortunately, as you know, not all of our friends help us make wise decisions, do they? There are some friends that can cause you to make bad decisions. And those bad decisions will keep you from soaring high like God wants. To help illustrate this, I want you to take a look at this balloon. Let's say that this balloon is you. God created you to do great things. He created you so that your life can soar high like this balloon. When we're doing things that please God, our lives will fly high and others will see God in us. And that is a great thing. But unfortunately, there's someone who doesn't want your life to soar for God. He doesn't want others to see God in you. And you know who that is? That's right, it's Satan. Satan wants to keep your life grounded where God can't be glorified. And to do that, he's gonna put people in your life who have the potential to drag you down. People who don't follow God and who want you not to follow God as well. And you know what? If we listen to them and follow their advice, we're gonna be in big trouble. Tell you what, let me give you an example. Say that you have a friend that you hang around with who tells you that you should cheat on a test. And because they're your friend, you do it. And guess what? It drags you down. 